This year's BioBlitz was held from 8th to 10th July and was hosted by the Yukon Wildlife Preserve on the traditional territories of the Tan Quachin Council and Kwanlin Dun First Nations. A BioBlitz is a rapid inventory. So we were there to find and identify as many species as possible over the three day period. Participating from CPAW's Yukon were Adil Darvesh, our communications coordinator, and me, Kate Novak, conservation science coordinator. We uploaded our observations to the community science platform known as iNaturalist, with observations identified mainly by the Yukon Conservation Data Center's Bruce Bennett and Sid Cannings. And here's Sid Cannings talking about iNaturalist. You can just go on, on iNaturalist and narrow it to the pea family in Whitehorse and then just click on all the dots and say, oh, okay, so that's what that is. You know? At times, the wild species even cooperated such as this hairy woodpecker and this striking yellow warbler. At other times, all we had was sound. If you're uh, out by the wetland, you'll hear that, uh, that... <laughs> And so there's like this Sora hidden somewhere out there singing. Um, never really see them, but... So in addition to photographs, we also learned how to upload audio files, such as for this Canada J more heard than seen. When species could not be readily identified in the field, they were collected, such as this nymph, or captured to get a closer look, such as this dragonfly gently held by Sid Cannings. Times they made it easy, here's Ryan Seeley photographing a dragonfly sitting on one of the nets. Ryan took this year's top BioBlitz prize for the most species recorded. And here is a Hudsonian white-faced dragonfly that I managed to photograph, its distinguishing feature being that white face on the front of the head. And here's Sid Cannings with some tips on how to photograph insects. Fortunately, every group of insects or every group of plants or whatever has different features that are used to separate the species. So say, for instance, a big blue darner dragonfly a lot of people take fabulous photographs from the back, and that's the wrong side. I mean, it's very nice and, and it's useful, but the key characters for blue darners are the side and the face, you know, so, so it's the, the message is take as many angles as you can or that the insect allows you to. Bruce Bennett gave us tips on how to photograph other taxa, such as mosses. In addition to photographing the entire moss clump, it's good to pull out some strands, such as for this slender cruet moss, or this step moss held by Bruce. Note the steps. Another expert present at the BioBlitz was Dan Peach from the zoology department at UBC. Dan specializes in mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are actually the world's deadliest organism. It's thought that they've killed approximately half of the humans that have ever lived. So the, the influence that they have upon us as a, as a species is, is immense. Um, but we focus on, on that interaction, right? Because it's, it's so big and it's, it's so important. There's a lot of other stuff that goes on just from an ecological perspective as well. One of my main interests in, in mosquitoes are, are, are what they do, the whole secret life of mosquitoes, what goes on when we're not around. So things like mosquito pollination, um, what eats mosquitoes, uh, mosquito parasites, uh, mosquito speciation, and, and how they, they specialize in, in plants that pollinate and, and other species that they bite. So insects, such as mosquitoes, are also food for birds, such as swallows, like this cliff swallow and tree swallow that we recorded during the BioBlitz. We observed a variety of species feeding, such as this chipping sparrow with a beak full of larvae, and this white crowned sparrow with a spider in its bill. Here's an arctic ground squirrel eating grass seeds, and a red fox with an arctic ground squirrel in its mouth, possibly taking it back to its den of several kits, including this one. Several of us debated what this horn grebe was carrying, a burbot, a leech, or a dragonfly nymph, until Sid Canning settled on predaceous diving beetle. And here is the horn grebe's family. Other species, like this red-winged blackbird, evaded predation, including by mobbing bald eagles. All in all, more than 1,000 observations of more than 400 species were recorded, 
by some 30 observers. We encourage you to sign up to iNaturalist to become a community scientist yourself and join us at next year's BioBlitz for some outdoor learning. Mm -hmm.